Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new Tech Reviews and Gadgets episode. Today we're actually reviewing a wireless USB keyboard and you guys are currently watching Freely. In today's episode, we are reviewing the Artec HW197 Wireless 2.4G USB Touch Keyboard. But before we get started with this tech reviews and gadgets episode, make sure you guys go down below into this video and hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to this channel. And also click that post bell notifications icon to also stay informed and get updates whenever we upload onto this channel. If you guys want to stay connected with us, our social media links are down below in the description. It will be shown a couple times in this video and you guys can follow us and stay connected with us and actually get updates on whenever we're going to upload or when, you know, just any of that kind of stuff. And then also if you're a business owner or a company owner and will actually like us to review or test out your products, our business inquiries email is creoleyt at outlook.com. It is also shown a couple times in this video, but it's also down below in the description. And you guys can message me and we can kind of walk together and see. And, you know, maybe we can walk together. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Make sure you also leave a like if you guys do enjoy this video. And, yeah, just to kind of give me feedback. And, yeah, today we're reviewing a wireless keyboard from the company Artec. And this model is the HW197. Um... So let's do, basically my tech review videos now have five components. Um, we have the false look, we have unboxing, we have um, product info, we do a test or demonstration, and then we have a final reflections at the end. So right now we're gonna go and basically take a false look at this product. Looking from the box, it's a pretty simple box, okay? So on the front right here, you guys can see, it just says Tech, right here. Uh, HW197 Wireless 2.4G USB Touch Keyboard. It says Certified frustra Frustration Free Packaging, which is really nice. On um, the back right here, it basically repeats itself. It doesn't really have anything. Um, they have those support email right here. You guys can actually contact. And yeah, that's basically how the box looks. The box is really simple. And yeah, we're now going to get on to the unboxing of this keyboard. So we're going to unbox this keyboard and then we're going to, uh, you know, just take a look at it. So let's open up the box. And yeah, that's the keyboard uh, false look right there. You know, it's really nice. The packaging is really nice. It comes with in like a plastic seal to kind of protect it. Um, which we're actually gonna, uh, here, let's just put it off to the side right here for now. We also get a user manual, as you guys can see. It's in, uh, I'm not sure what language that is, but on the back side, we also get an English side. So you guys can read this and get more information on the product if you guys need help or just more, I don't know, specific, I don't know, not specifications, you just need more, um, yeah, I guess specifications on the product. So, you know, you guys will read this manual and you guys will get your info. And then basically they have, uh, I don't know, good and bad. So basically this is a card letting you know you guys can send them a review. Um, you know, show that you got the product if you're happy with it. Um, the product does have a two years warranty. Um, if it's defected, you know, they say you message us. They have the support email right there that you guys can contact. And yeah. What we're going to do is actually set this box aside to kind of save up some space. So what we're going to do right here is actually kind of just set it off to the side right here just to kind of clear up, you know, this area up a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> and we're going to take out the keyboard out of its plastic sleeve and set it onto the table. And we're going to put the plastic sleeve right there. So right now we're going to set the keyboard on the table. You know, my false looks. I mean, not my false look, my impression on this keyboard, it's really nice. It feels nice. Um, I really like the design and texture. Um, the keys and everything do feel really nice and intact, which I like. It has a kind of a metal finish to it, which is really nice. And 
you know, like I said, we got the user manual and a card just letting you know, you know, you can review them and contact them. Um, now let's get on to basically the product info. Some of the key features or specifications of the Artec HW197 wireless USB touch keyboard include easy setup. You can make your TV, have your TV have a wireless uh, keyboard with a touchpad, which can basically you can enjoy easy control of your TV. Um, it has a 10 meter or 33 feet wireless range, so it can cover a lot of distance. It has wide compatibility. It works with Windows, Android, Chrome, OS, TV connected computers. Um, basically, it's really comfortable. It's quiet typing. You can enjoy your typing and navigation anywhere practically. Um, and yeah. Let's get on with the test and you know kind of just test out the keyboard out and see how it functions and how efficient it is and how it feels so on the back of the keyboard right here this is where you actually get the battery and the USB cable I don't know if you guys can see that on this camera there's a back slot basically what you gotta do is kind of push it up and it lifts up right so you guys can see we have our USB uh, adapter plug that you plug into your you know computer or TV and then we got the batteries that they include but you guys you know you guys could swap out the batteries you know I don't know how long these batteries are gonna last considering that the company gave it to us but you do receive two batteries um, and yeah triple A batteries sorry so what we're gonna do is actually reinstall the batteries in let's make sure we're doing this right okay so I'm going to insert the battery and put the slot back on and yeah now it's you know secure basically on the top right here there is a on and off button right here I don't know if you guys can see it. on and off button right there that you guys can click I mean switch on to actually uh, turn on the keyboard so we're gonna switch it on and you guys can see there should be a light that pops up. Hopefully this, hopefully it's not dead. <laughs> but okay, we're gonna set this back on the table right here. And what I'm gonna do is actually plug the USB nano um, adapter into the computer right here. Let's see. So let's get on to testing out this keyboard. Finally, the uh, what is it called the power light actually shows up now. I guess I was having issues with like it connecting with my uh, laptop for some reason because this is a laptop that I've actually never used it on before. So we're gonna just test it out and actually kind of get a feel of the product. So you guys can see the light is uh, flashing on the corner right here. Um, hopefully you guys can see my mouse. I'm not sure. Let's see. Do I need to reconnect it? Let's see. Let me turn it back on and off. Okay. Yep, it's working out. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see my cursor. I don't know if I should zoom in. But you guys can see the mouse pad is working. So basically, I don't know if you guys can see things kind of like moving around on the screen right there. But you guys can see the mouse pad is working. So like, let's say we want to click on this article right here. You know, I just clicked on it and it just opened up. So. It is working. Everything is uh, the mouse is working. Um, the what is it called? Let's see. The buttons on this side work, so I can you know go up and down the article. As you guys can see, as I'm you know kind of moving the uh, the mouse pad and uh, the button, like clicking on the button, it's moving the article. So it is working. So that's a good sign. Um, let's see. Let's type something on in Bing or MSN. Dot com. Let's just say uh, crew elite. So I'm going to type caps C R E. Oh, I didn't type R. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see. So you guys can see the keyboard right here, right? So we're going to type in C R E W. I mean, yeah, W E L I T E. And click enter. So you guys can see Bing. I mean, is this? Yeah, this is Bing. Okay. You see our channel pops up. Those are a couple of my tech review videos right there, actually. So yeah, 
the keyboard does work really nice the buttons feel really nice you know let's just type a couple of random keys into here okay there we go you see that it's really nice let me zoom out wow okay so yeah the keyboard does do its job and what it says it's really nice i really like this keyboard it's basically what i'm trying to say i'm sorry that my demonstration and test wasn't like the best kind of video but you know i kind of you know i didn't really have a cameraman to <laughs> kind of like you know shoot the keyboard as i'm typing so we kind of had to do with the tripod but hopefully i gave you guys uh what is it called um you know you know nice shots and you guys kind of saw how it worked. It, it works fine, you know. Right now, I'm actually even on my video recorder right now, and I'm, you know, manipulating. You guys can see that's actually the mic audio. It's um, what is it called? Basically, um, recording. And yeah, it's. I can see the mouse pad. If I went to another website, I could type. It's really nice. The keys feel so nice and everything. I really like this product. And basically, we're gonna close off this video with a final reflections and remarks. I like this keyboard. This keyboard's really nice. I've actually, this is the second wireless keyboard that I've owned. I reviewed one a couple months ago. That one was also really nice, but this one has a mouse pad, which the other one doesn't. Um, they'll, you know, I kind of wish the keyboard wasn't battery paddle. Um, I kind of wish you can actually charge it, like wirelessly charge it, like, you know, plug a USB in. But, you know, it's all right, I guess. I don't know how often we need to change this. And I'm, cons I'm guessing since they gave you batteries, these batteries ain't going to last too long. So you might want to get a replacement, you know, in a little bit. But, you know, this keyboard is really nice. I really like it. Um, if I had to rank it from 1 out of 10, I would give it a 9 out of 10. Like I said, I really wish you could just plug the USB into it. Um, but other than that, this is really nice. It has all the multi-function keys at the top. Um, I really like this keyboard. It has a nice finish to it. It's really very nice quality. It's, it has quality, which is really good. Um, you know, it's going to last. And it looks like it's kind of made out of some, I don't know, if it's like steel. I don't think that's metal. I'm guessing metal, not steel. Um, but it's really nice. It does feel very light. It is very compact. It is really quiet. The mouse pad and everything is really nice. It's all fluid and working together really, uh, really nice together. And I really like it a lot. So, yeah. Basically, we just reviewed the Artec HW197 wireless 2.4 gigahertz or I don't know if it's gigahertz or gig or uh, G, whatever. I really don't know, you know, <laughs> USB touch keyboard. It's really nice. I really like this. Um, and yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making this video. Make sure though, before you guys leave this video, make sure you leave a like if you did enjoy this video and also subscribe if you're new to this channel if you are a company owner or a business owner and actually want to work with me our business inquiries email is down below in the description which is careerleadeyt at outlook.com basically also if you guys want to stay connected with us our social media links are also down below in the description down below where you guys can stay connected and you know find out whenever we're going to upload our next video and all that you know jazz and stuff and yeah, I did enjoy this. I like, I really like this product. I really do. Um, you know, I use keyboards all the time. It's really nice to have something compact with a mouse pad, you know, especially like if you were using a TV or you have your computer in a distance or you're laying down, you know, you don't want to, you know, there's so many reasons why you want to get a wireless keyboard and I really like it. I'm probably going to use this a lot. I have multiple laptops and it's really nice that you know now I got a keyboard for like every single one of them so it's really nice um, and yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video I know I did making it and I'll see you guys on the next one clearly signing out thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day